Aside from the distributors and retailers of music, there's a huge number of societies, organisations and companies that collect and distribute the many other revenue streams in the music industry. So which ones should you join? If you write music or lyrics, then you need to join a performing rights organisation as a writer. There's usually at least one performing rights organisation in each country. The Performing Rights Society for the UK is PRS. The USA has a few, ASCAP, BMI and SESAC. If songs you wrote are available in physical formats, then you'll also be entitled to mechanicals. The Mechanical Copyright Society for the UK is MCPS. In USA, you can get mechanical licenses from the Harry Fox Agency. And in Australia, the equivalent organisation is AMCOS. If you own the master rights to any recordings, then you need to join a neighbouring rights organisation as a recording rights holder. If you make any audible contribution to sound recordings, then you need to join a neighbouring rights society as a performer. The neighbouring rights organisation for the UK is PPL. They collect for rights holders and performers. When your songs are performed live, you'll receive payments from a performing rights organisation. When recordings of your songs are played in public or broadcast on TV or radio, you'll receive payments from both a performing rights organisation and a neighbouring rights organisation. For more information on neighbouring rights or anything else mentioned in this video, you can go to trexploitation.com.